Dozens descended on Queenstown's waterfront today to enjoy the spectacular lake views. But the town's water supply has residents worried, with 17 cases of cryptosporidium confirmed in the area as of today. But talking to locals around town, it seems clear the real number is higher. You know that it affects everyone. I went to the tattoo shop yesterday, they use uh, just uh, water in a uh, water bottle and stuff to just like fill everything. Many stocking up on bottles of water and ice, leaving some supermarket shelves bare. The countdown had actually run out so we had to do a little bit of scouting around. Rhino Ski Shack has had a recent wave of staff sickness. I have some staff members who have been sick for the last week, like literally last seven days. At the moment it's fine because we have a lot of staff members, but in a week or two it's going to be quite a challenge. The bar usually mixes up their own soft drinks, but they're now desperately sourcing alternatives from suppliers, as well as ice for cold drinks. Their new manager, Brendan Classen, says it's been difficult to get their hands on enough stock. So we have to buy everything from suppliers, shops around town, which start to get like a bit of problem uh, to supply for everyone, because all the restaurants, all the bars like need that, so it starts to be a bit of shortage. They've now implemented a process for cooking and serving food with boiling water. In the morning, the chef like just take the pots, boil a lot of water, let it cool down. We put it in a tank in the chiller, let it chill out, and we use that water to clean hands, wash the dishes, uh, obviously serve people water. Mr. Classen says he only found out about the outbreak yesterday, which he blames on the council's late messaging. Queenstown Ice supplies the town's three ice bars with all things ice, including carving ice, ice glasses and ice sculptures. After dumping their affected ice following the boil water notice, owner Richard Scott says he managed to source a UV filter from town. It cost about $3,000. Needless to say, his services are in huge demand today. I would say probably 30, 30 businesses today. And that, that will be just minimal, like 10 bags each or something, just, just to get them going. And then there'll be more go out this evening. Like many locals Checkpoint has spoken to, Scott says he came down with a gastro illness on Monday last week and was away from work for four days. Who knows what I had, it could have been the same thing or something different, but I mean not everyone's going to go to a doctor and get tested and find out what they had. Or... Queenstown Lakes Infrastructure General Manager Tony Avery accepts that more than 17 people are ill. Oh, I think so. I think if you talk to Public Health South, they'll probably say that that's the case as well. The council is working with Public Health Southland and water regulator Tomata Arawai to determine next steps. We get ongoing um, confirmed cryptosporidium cases that will um, be tell us something about what we need to carry on and do. So we're still waiting, and it is still evolving. Um, each day goes by. Mr Avery urges people to continue to boil their water for at least one minute and to thoroughly wash their hands with soap and dry them. It's not like um, the recent case where there was lead in the water in Waikawiti, where you can't deal with that. Boiling the water does make the water safe to drink. So we don't, have, we don't have a shortage of water supply, we don't have a contamination issue that can't be treated by that. For now, water straight from the tap is off the menu for the foreseeable. I've kind of been drinking wine. <laughs>